They did scare me when they said that people sometimes have strokes after visiting the chiropractor. What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Brent. I'm a chiropractor in Illinois. In today's video, I am super pumped up about. I've been wanting to react to this video for a while now. This is part four of a series we're reacting to, um, Crack Addicts on TLC. But this one, this is a good one. There's a lot of good material in this. I want to debunk some stuff. So let's get on this material. All right, now let's get started with this material. <laughs> I wear a size 44 triple D, so obviously I'm not in the itty bitty committee. My boobs are heavy and I often like do this and when I need to do this, but it's hard because I'm just, I'm dragging a wagon, okay? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so believe it or not, yes, this does come into the clinic. Women with larger breasts coming in with increased back pain, upper back pain, neck pain, headaches. So we do see this in the clinic. Okay, I got bajungas, you got titties. Okay. okay. So, have you ever thought about having your breast reduction? No, I don't want to. Okay. The reason she asked that question, is she willing to get a breast reduction? The reason is, is because that would make things easier to help bring back this way. You know, when we have all this weight up forward, it makes it a little more difficult to bring the shoulders back, to bring the upper back, the neck back. Um, some people are willing to do that and some people aren't just because someone's not willing to get a breast reduction doesn't mean we can't help improve their posture. Imagine putting a 10 pound sack of potatoes and walking around all day with that. You're not going to be happy and neither is your neck. All that weight is going to push the neck forward and over time it can actually create that hump in the back of the neck. So when we have the weight forward and the shoulders are brought forward, a lot of times what we call this is upper cross syndrome. What that is, is it causes some tightening of some muscles and some weakening of other muscles. When I say weakening, that just means some of the postural muscles that are used to keep us upright just aren't working. So there's different methods we can do to help, you know, strengthen those muscles that aren't working and stretch the muscles that, you know, are being overworked. Ever seen a chiropractor? Never in our life. I was actually discouraged to come see a chiropractor by my doctor. You know what? <laughs> um, I probably hear that more than you could possibly imagine. You know what? This is actually kind of sad because I've heard this in the clinic too. Some patients, primary care physicians say, do not come see a chiropractor. I don't know if it's bias. I don't know if they've had a bad run-in with a chiropractor. It's sad that some people in the medical community do not want to work together with chiropractors to improve their patient outcomes. That's, that's actually pretty sad. And there's no real reason behind it. Well, they did scare me when they said that people sometimes have strokes after visiting the chiropractor. And I was like, I don't want to have a stroke. Okay. This is absolutely ridiculous. And this has happened in the clinic before where a patient's doctor said, don't go to the chiropractor because you're going to get a stroke. There is zero and i mean zero evidence or research that shows that chiropractors cause strokes in research there's a word that they use called association they associate chiropractic with strokes of course it's associated what are the symptoms of the stroke of a stroke patient neck pain and headaches who goes and sees the chiropractor patients that have neck pain and headaches of course is an association but there is zero evidence showing that chiropractic causes strokes. Let's look at it this way. My malpractice insurance is less than my driver's insurance or my auto insurance. That means it is more dangerous for you to drive to come see me. Now, if chiropractic caused strokes, my malpractice insurance would be through the roof, would be through the roof. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous to say that chiropractic causes strokes. And I do not know why people in the medical community harp on this and they hold on to this because there is no research showing that it causes any stroke. So if we can get away from that topic, that would be great. <laughs> there are good doctors and there are bad doctors. That is true. And you are in good hands. 
Yes, yes, I am gonna do the cracking and the popping and the <laughs> adjusting that we all talk about. So yeah, you're gonna feel those sensations. I am gonna examine your spine. I'm gonna take a look at everything from top to bottom. And I'm gonna ask for your permission every step of the way. I love this consent game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so really what it boils down to is recognition of symptoms. That's medical doctors, that's nurses, that's chiropractors. We need to recognize, you know, the patients that have a higher risk of stroke. We need to recognize if a patient is having symptoms of a stroke, because that's what it comes down to with the stroke game. It's how quickly can we recognize the symptoms? How quickly can we get them to the help that they need? Because when a patient comes into my clinic and they have neck pain and they have headaches, we're asking all those questions to see, are they currently, you know, are they about to have a stroke? Are they currently having a stroke? Are they at an increased risk for a stroke. So that's the biggest thing. It's recognition of symptoms. That's what we should be focusing on as a medical community, not pointing the finger when there's no research saying that chiropractors cause strokes. Let's work together. Let's improve patient outcomes by recognizing those symptoms. Okay, that <laughs> box is over. As a result of the larger boobs, you're forward stooping here, right? So uh -huh. I have this forward motion i'm going to over exaggerate for you and you're getting this hump in the back here so some patients come in and they're they're only worried about that hump in their back they they think that it's going to be there forever they think that that's just the way their body is that's not true that just means your shoulders are sitting forward and it accentuates that hump the hump is actually what we call your t1 or sometimes it's your c7 vertebra it's the one that sticks out the most and when we pull our shoulders forward it just accentuates it and makes it look like you have a humpback or a hunchback. This isn't the case, this can be fixed. The reason why we gotta start promoting this good posture is because as I do that, you almost automatically see that hump decrease. Go back to your forward motion again. See the hump? Go back to your good posture. No. So that's a good description. When she brought back the posture, you saw that the hump went away, right? With treatment of this, it's a lot of getting the mobility back in the joints, right? That's what I do as a chiropractor. I'm focusing on that mobility within the joints. We're getting the movement back. A lot of this, though, comes from the patient doing work at home. It's stretching. It's doing the proper strengthening exercise to help bring the shoulders back to get rid of that hump. I mean, you saw when her shoulders got brought back, the hump was gone, right? Well, there's a lot of things that you need to do at home to help maintain that good posture and to get rid of that, get rid of that hump. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Again, big topic. Chiropractors do not cause strokes. It just boils down to recognition of symptoms. And if we as a medical community can focus on that and work together to recognize the symptoms of stroke, the patient outcomes get a lot better. So instead of pointing the finger, let's all work together, getting better at recognizing those symptoms. If you want more of these reaction videos, go ahead and comment below. Um, but subscribe to this channel so I can help debunk a lot of this stuff that we see online about chiropractic. I want you guys to be educated. I want you to know, you know what you're getting when you go to a chiropractor. So if you enjoyed this material, go ahead and hit subscribe. Take care you guys.